Rafael Nadal's recent win of the 14th French Open title is not only another milestone in his list of achievements, but also makes him the greatest tennis player of all time. He has created numerous excellent records in his career, which might be incredibly hard for anyone to break in the near future. In this video, we are going to look at 12 times when Rafael proved he's different from any other tennis player in the world. Here we begin. Number 12. Defeats Roger in the first match In 2004, Rafael met Roger for the first time in the Miami Masters and defeated him in the match at only 17 years old. Roger had already won two major titles before, but lost the game to the Spanish player that day. This is the match where the greatest tennis rivalry in history began. Since then, they have competed 40 times against each other, with Rafael leading by winning 24 matches and Federer winning 16 of them. Apart from the rivalry, they also share another thing, friendship. Yes, the sportsmen showcase the true spirit of sportsmanship by keeping their rivalry only to the match. Rafael, Roger, and Novak are the top three players who rule today's tennis world. Number 11. First Grand Slam at 19 years It is said that people don't forget their first time. But in Rafael's case, we also won't. At 19 years of age, Nadal won his first ever Grand Slam championship by achieving the Paris clay. After his first victory as a teenager, he won his 11th Grand Slam at 26 years old, seven years later. After winning slam titles in Australia in 2009 and the United States in 2010, he would complete the career Golden Slam, a spectacular feat accomplished by very few tennis players to date. Number 10. Gold Medal at 22 In 2008, the tennis star won gold for his country, Spain, at the Summer Olympics held in Beijing by overthrowing Fernando Gonzalez of Chile 6-3, 7-6, 7-2, 6-3 in the final match. In 2008, Nadal began to establish his prominence as a potential GOAT. He conquered the French Open title for the third time that year, and the win wasn't easy. The men's lineup included many wonderful players like Federer, Djokovic, Andy Murray, James Blake, David Ferrer, Nikolai Davidenko, and David Nalbandian that year. All had an amazing record and were seen as feasible winners of the coveted title, but it was Nadal who won the prize. Number 9. Ties with Bjorn Borg at Roland Garros In 2008, Rafael also joined Bjorn Borg in the Open Era as the only two individuals to win four uninterrupted French Open titles. After winning against Mariano Puerta in the French Open final in 2005, Nadal defeated Roger Federer in the next three consecutive finals from 2006 to 2008, without exceeding four sets to do so. He played the Roland Garros 2022 with injury suspicions, and unfortunately, no wins on clay this season. Still, he regained his winning streak to extend his record by collecting more than double as many players as Rude, with Nadal's 37 to Rude's 16. Number 8. Hard Court Success Rafael has always shown his expertise on clay, but in 2009, he proved he could be a superstar champion on any surface, even the hard courts. He defeated Roger Federer once again in a terrific Aussie Open final game in just five sets and claiming a Grand Slam title on every ground, whether it be clay or grass. Number 7. Winning U.S. Open Till 2010, Rafael had conquered the French Open several times, the Australian Open, Wimbledon twofold and a gold medal at Olympics. But the winner of the U.S. Open was yet to come. With his victory that year in Flushing Meadows, the site of the year's final slam match, he ticked it off too. He defeated his opponent Novak Djokovic in four sets to win the men's single tennis championship. It was Nadal's ninth major title win, and he finished the career golden slam with this win. The match held great emotional value to the player because of this. After his win, he collapsed to the ground in awe and disbelief. He has won four U.S. Open finals since then. Number 6. Career Golden Slam Rafael Nadal has undoubtedly been indomitable in Grand Slams. He has defeated his rivals time after time to win tennis's most prestigious award. The Spaniard also finished a career Golden Slam along with the gold medal. So it is when a tennis player wins a gold medal for his country, along with all Grand Slam titles in his career. Nadal and Andre Agassi are the only players in the world who have achieved this record. Number 5. Monte Carlo Masters Dominance In the 2012 French Open, Rafael once again conquered on clay, winning the final match of the Monte Carlo Masters for eight consecutive times 
and setting a new record by breaking Novak Djokovic's former one. The Spaniard has won the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters 11 times, matching former world number one Pete Sampras' haul across the Masters 1,000 tournaments with his leading supremacy in the Principality. He had his tournament debut in 2003 as a 16-year-old in which he defeated the dominant Roland Garros winner Albert Costa in the third round. Rafael has always produced his best tennis performance at the Monte Carlo Country Club by winning 71 matches out of the 76 he played at the event. He earned eight consecutive Open Era wins from 2005 to 2012 and three straight crowns after four years from 2016 to 2018. Number 4. Wimbledon Win 2010 was an incredible year for Rafael. He had won three major titles, including the second Wimbledon championship of his career. He officially promoted himself to legendary status by defeating Tomas Berdic, only two years after winning against Federer in 2008 in the longest final match ever played at the All England Club. The match went on for five hours, the back and forth between the two megastars continuing for five sets and Nadal showcased one of the finest performances of his career in one of the greatest nail-biting matches ever played. Rafael had lost to Federer in 2006 and 2007 in the Wimbledon Finals, which was a breakthrough victory for the Spanish player. He has won a total of two Wimbledon titles to date. Number 3. Most Number of French Open Titles Clay Court has proven to be a lucky ground for the player, and he is famously called the King of Clay for all his deserving accomplishments on the ground. Nadal has conquered 14 Roland Garros titles and is way ahead of the next player on the list, Bjorn Borg. The tennis legend has won six French Open titles during his glorious career. Nadal becomes somehow even more invincible on the clay court and has conquered 63 titles on clay, 14 more than any other tennis player. The Spaniard has set a massive record in French Open finals by winning 14 final matches and receiving 14 titles. Number 2. Major Final Winning Ratio Rafael has a 77.3% winning ratio in Grand Slams, which is the second-best winning ratio behind the 77.8% winning ratio of Pete Sampras. Number 1. Most Number of Grand Slam Titles Rafael Nadal has conquered 22 Grand Slam titles in his tremendous career. He is now at the top of the list of most Grand Slam wins among male players. Novak Djokovic is in second place with 21, and Roger Federer is in third place with 20. Nadal has been ranked number one worldwide for a total of 209 weeks, and has also finished number one annually five times. Despite suffering frequent injuries, Rafael is currently in great shape even after playing for many years. Do you play tennis? If yes, then who is your idol? Do you think Rafael is the ultimate GOAT? Drop your answers and feedback in the comment section. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, then press the thumbs up and share button. We'll be back again with more amazing content. Take care till then, and thanks for watching.